This is Plant 3D with the experts. My name is Martin Bus. I'm a designated support specialist at Autodesk. And today we will cover the piping connections in Plant 3D. Piping connections is a basic functionality of Plant 3D as other piping software. Piping connections are created automatically and can be represented by either a symbol or even by physical parts. So the piping elements that are coming automatically when routing a pipe, they come all from a spec and the connections. They will be made um, up to the rules that can be defined in the configuration. So in the, conf in the project setup in the Plants 3D DWG settings, piping connection settings, you will find the setup uh, for the connection, so we have the joint setup. So we find you find simple joints, you find compound joints here. What is the difference? The difference in a simple joint will uh, simply create a connection and put a fastener in to connect two parts, as defined in the simple joint setup. The compound joint will bring in, in order to connect two, uh, a, con a combination of two different end codes, it will bring in a sp another spec part, which will then connect with the piping parts according to the simple joints. I will show you later in a quick example. So how does it look like? the setup of the simple joints. <clears throat> so when you click modify, you can see. First of all, we have um, simple joints for metric metric or imperial imperial connections. We also can create combinations for imperial to metric connection. So how does it look like the setup of a simple joint? On the left side, you see end one of this connection can be several, connects to end two can be several. In this case, BVPL to BVPL. So it means BV to BV, BV to PL, PL to BV, PL to PL. There's just one property that will be checked. That's the nominal diameter. So all so parts from the spec, they can connect as soon as the nominal diameter is the same when the end code connection is as determined. The fastener, it will be a butt weld coming in only. And again, to create a metric to imperial, you check this check mark. Let's have a look at a different one. FL, FL, FL connection. Flange joint. So here we have three connections. But one wasn't set up as required, so it's then showing up as optional matches in the overview. And also, you can see for the nominal diameter is required, but uh, has matching values entered here. So what does it mean? Well, first of all, Three properties will be checked. Nominal diameter, pressure class, and facing. 
uh, but the additional setup will allow connections between 100 and 150 which I set up as an example which doesn't make sense usually just to show you so this will result and let me show you how the optional part will in what the optional part will result in so the optional part will result in in um, additional window so you can see here I have did set up in this spec uh, a different facing so when I select this I will I Plan City will ask me to connect these components. So this happens when you define a property as optional. It will allow you connections between different facings in this case, but it will ask you before. So this is what optional means. So what um, the, does these? So what happens with these matches that I did define? So I, I did enter 100, 150 as matches. It will result in a condition that um, the nominal diameter of the connecting part is either 100 or 150 if uh, the, the, the other part is 100 and, or 150. So this is how you can implement such, uh, such conditions where different parts are possible. Of course, for the nominal diameter in the real life, it doesn't make sense, but there could be facing, for example, or even pressure class as an example, where you could apply these, these matching parameters. So this is the default connectors config XML, and this file, it's a project file, and here, your uh, encodes configuration will be saved. So some very advanced workflows uh, or conditions you could implement here that you cannot implement from the interface, but this is really advanced. You can manage, create your own encodes with the plant encodes command. There you can add your own encode and determine if it uh, behaves uh, flange-like, wafer-like, wafer-like with just one bolt set coming in for this wafer connection and then uh, or like PLBV, where you can also cut back the elbows. The encodes will be saved in the encodes config XML. And this is a installation file. It's not a project file. It's an ins uh, installation file. You find it in the plants ready subfolder of the AutoCAD installation folder. So what happens if a connection will be created? Um, we have here a valve and its encodes are BW on both sides. You see N-type 1 or encode BW. Then you see this um, pipe. It has PL at the end, port 1, port 2. So if I uh, extend this pipe to this valve, now it will create a connection. So what did happen in the background? So there was a, a PLBV combination uh, found as uh, a connection. So the connection was looked up in in the simple joint table, going through all the possible connections, also going through the compound table, checking. Finally. This was found as a metric 
um, as a non-mixed um, joint and it was bringing in the fastener after checking the nominal diameter as a match. So this was the example of a simple joint. Now what will happen um, uh, with the compound joint? So compound joint will be created, uh, for example, talking about the flange connection, when you pull the pipe uh, from a FL end of, uh, of a, a valve and, and in this case, because our pipes are PL usually uh, as the preferred pipes, you will get uh, FLPL connection. And the same thing will happen if you just take from the two palette a valve and put, put it into the pipe. It will create two PLFL connections at the same time. So what will happen? Again, it will go through all the connection setups in your configuration. It will go through the simple joints and it will go through the compound joints. And then it finds FLPL, which is a compound joint. So the compound joint uh, will, um, in, in the configuration, there will be rules for what parts uh, to insert in, in this case of a compound a joint. And in this case, it is, uh, as you can see here, it is a flange. And the, the criteria from the spec part for the spec part to bring in here is first of all the facing, the end type and the nominal diameter as well as the pressure class. If all, if there's a, a part found in the spec, a flange found in the spec with all fulfilling these conditions, it will be, it will be placed then and, and as a as a next consequence, there will be there will be simple joints created, as you see in point with point three, because because after the flange has been inserted, there will be new connections detected, and in this case, it will be FLFL and BVPL. So PLBV. So in this case, again, Pranzuli really will go through the configuration and it will find two simple joints. The butt weld joint, BVPL, it will bring in the, the weld symbol as a connector and then the flange joint will bring in uh, the gasket and the, the bolt set as a connector. So just a few words about uh, best practice and troubleshooting. First of all, in the default connectors config XML, don't put, don't actually change the offset tolerance. It's zero uh, and shouldn't be changed. Or so if you really want to change it because if you have connection problems, then you could take values or you could put this value 0 0.0001. Uh, that was once recommended not exceed this value because of problems with the ISO. So if you want to create new encodes yourself and new configurations, please start with a default project, uh, not with your um, custom configuration because first you want to see if it generally works and then you want to see if it works in your custom project. Uh, this is just for troubleshooting reasons, these things getting complicated sometimes. So verify it works before you implement it into your template. And then, um, so one common problem about the compound joint is that 
you just not get the expected part inserted, but a different one, which you will not see at this point. The only thing you will see is the error coming. So uh, once you did not ex give exactly criteria to get the correct part inserted into, you might get a different part inserted. This different part might lead to an error. You just see the error. You don't see that the wrong part is coming in. So this is one um, thing that you should investigate if you get errors. Then uh, another uh, common problem is, so the encode combinations, they just exist once. If they exist two times, then the, the duplication is a mixed metric. So for, and there's another exception that's the, the first uh, that you see in your configuration is about the, the bend, bend pipe, that's an exception. But apart from these exceptions, you have uh, every combination just exists once. It means in the single, in the simple joints and in the compound joints. There cannot be a combination in the simple joints and in the compound joints because plant CD is going through the whole list of combinations to find the correct uh, end code combination. So make sure it just exists once. Because otherwise it will just find one of your setups and in the other one it will not find. And and then when checking, uh, when, when you get errors with a connection, well, check it separately. So check the simple and check the, jo the compound joint. And let me show you how this works. Um, it's like uh, checking, for example, let's have a, a flange connection. How do you check? The, the simple joint is not by pulling here. Pulling here means you create a, you pull a pipe. So it will be a PLFL connection. But what you want to do is what you want to check your simple joint, which is a FLFL connection. In this case, you would put in another flange and, and put it in, to the other flange, connect it. This was a simple joint. And this is when I'm pulling here, I'm creating a compound joint. That's a difference. So you can, and again, if you if you take a, a, a instrument, of course, here two compound joints will be created. So that's the difference. If you want to check the the simple joint, just let meet the F, in this case, the FLFL ends, let them touch, and then you see if the simple join gets created correctly. If you pull the plus, or if you put in, uh, for example, this valve into your pipe, this, there will be compound joins created. So you can check them separately.